Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for event management sector. So here, let's assume that I have an event management company and to promote the same, I'm using Facebook lead ads. So here, my objective is that whenever I will receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then I wish to add the lead details in my Google Sheet. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I will be using this amazing integration and automation software that is Pabli Connect. So here, my trigger application will be Facebook and my action application will be Google Sheets. So to learn more about this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will understand how to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for event management sector. So here to promote my event management company, I'm using Facebook lead ads. So now my objective is that whenever I will receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then I wish to add the details of the lead in my Google Sheet in a new row. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I will be using this amazing integration and automation software that is Pabli Connect. So here as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. So now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. So I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I'm going to name it as add Facebook leads to Google Sheets and on my left hand side you can see that these are the folders that I've created before so I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Facebook lead ads. Now here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that now I've arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action. So now moving to my use case, that is to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for event management sector. So here in this trigger window, as I'm promoting my business through Facebook lead ads, so here I'm going to use Facebook leads as, as my trigger application. So here it is. And now the trigger event will be new lead instant. So the moment I will receive a new lead, then automatically this workflow is going to run. So as I want to add the details of this Facebook leads in my Google Sheets, so here I'm going to search for Google Sheets as my action application. Here it is. And the action event will be to add new row. So as I've selected my trigger application and the trigger event along with the action application and the action event, so my objective is that whenever a new lead will be received through Facebook lead ads, then automatically the lead details should be added in Google Sheets. So now to do this, firstly, I have to integrate. So now to do this, firstly, I have to establish a connection between Facebook lead ads and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now here to add a new connection, I've already logged into my Facebook account in one of the tabs. So here I'm going to click on connect with Facebook lead ads. So here you can see that the authorization is successful. So Pabli Connect and Facebook Lead Ads is successfully connected. So after establishing a connection, I need to select the page and the lead gen form. Here I need to select the page that I've created for my business and the lead gen form that is associated with my page. So this here is the page that I've created by the name of Sparkle Evenings. So here in Pabli Connect, firstly, I'm going to select my page as Sparkle Evenings. Here it is. And now I need to select the lead gen form that is associated with my page. So here in Meta Business Suite, these are the forms that I have created. So here I want to use this lead ads form that is by the name of new contact leads form. So this is how the form looks like. So I want to use this form. So the name of this lead ads form is new contact leads form. So here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to select the same. So here this is the form and I've selected it. So now as I've selected the page and the lead gen form, here I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as I did that here, you can see it is waiting for webhook response, which means now I have to do test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So now to do a test submission, I'm going to take you to Meta for Developers page. So here in this new tab, I'm going to search for Meta for Developers. Here it is. I will go to the page. 
So here in Meta for Developers, I will go to My Apps. And in My Apps, I will go to Tools. And under Developer Tools, I will go to this Lead Ads RTO Debug Tool. So this here is the Lead Ads Testing Tool. And this tool is going to test our integration. So here you can create a test lead to confirm that your integration is set up to receive data correctly. So here I'm going to select my page as Sparkle Evenings and now the lead gen form that is associated with it. So here this is the form which I want to use that is by the name of new contact leads form. So now I'm going to click on preview form. So here this is how the form looks like and I've added the details of contact number, email, first name and the last name. So here I'm going to click on next and now I'm going to click on submit. So it says thanks you are all set. So here you can see that your test lead has been sent. That means the test lead which I've just created right now would have been captured in Pabli Connect. So I will take you to Pabli Connect. And here you can see that I've received a response. This here is the contact number, email, first name, last name, created date and time along with some other details. So that means the test lead which I've just created is successfully captured over here in Pabli Connect. So the first step of this automation is set up. That means now whenever a new lead will be received through Facebook lead ads, then automatically that lead will be captured here in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So as I've captured the test lead which I've just created, so now I want to add the lead details in my Google Sheets. So to do that, I need to establish a connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, I will simply sign in with Google. So here I'm going to click on allow as this is a secure access. And the authorization is successful. So here you can see that Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now here I need to select the spreadsheet and the sheet. So here this is the Google Sheet that I've created. So the name of this Google Sheet is Facebook Leads New. It consists only of one sheet and of three columns. One is of lead email, second is of lead name and the third one is of phone number. So here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to search for my sheet that is by the name of Facebook Leads New. And here you can see that the sheet is selected automatically. Now moving to the fields of lead email, lead name and the phone number. So here I'm going to map it from the response that I've received from Facebook lead ads. So basically mapping is to insert the data from previous steps. So as I've received the response here, I'm going to map the email. Now I'm going to map the lead name that is demo. Then after giving a space, I'm going to map the last name as well. And here I'm going to map the phone number. So this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response with new data, so that data can be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information would have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So as the details are mapped, so here I'm going to click on save and send test request to see the response. So here I've received a response and this is a positive response. So now I will take you to my Google Sheets. So here in this Google Sheet, you can see that in a new row, the lead details is successfully added. Here's the lead email, lead name and the phone number. That means the test lead which I've just created, the details of that test lead is successfully added over here in this Google Sheet. So this integration and automation is a successful one. Now whenever a new lead will be received through Facebook lead ads, then automatically the lead details will be added in Google Sheets. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.